Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of my math lab, also known as my stat lab. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you're already registered for your course in my math lab. If you're not registered, please check out the video about how to get registered for my math lab in your particular instructor's course. To get to my math lab, you want to go to mymathlab.com and sign in with the username and password for your account. Once you log in, you will see a list of all your courses. So click on the course that you want to access. The first page you will come to is your home page for that course. You will see a set of tabs on the left that take you to various places in my math lab and in the center you'll see the name of your course and your current assignments that are open along with their due dates. You can click on any of the open assignments straight from this view if you want to and the assignment will open for you. When you get to your assignment click on any of the question numbers to open that question. After you read the question and you input your answer, you will be told if your answer is correct or not. For example, if I type in the wrong answer here, I will get a message like this. But I have three tries to get this question correct. If I input the correct answer on my next try, I get a notice that my answer is correct. Then I can click on next question or I can click on this arrow here at the top and I can go to the next question. Now suppose I work on this problem and I get the answer wrong three times. One, two, see it changed to final check, three. So now I'm told that I've gotten it wrong three times, I'm told what answer I put in, and I'm told what the correct answer was. So I missed that question. However, I have not necessarily lost the point. This question has multiple items, so I'm going to skip this one too. I can click here on similar question and I get a new similar problem and if I complete this new problem correctly I will receive full credit for number two on this homework. So you can complete each question an unlimited number of times in this way so there is always the possibility to get full credit on your homework assignment if you put in enough time. Now suppose I'm on this question and I'm confused. I read the book and I watched the videos for class, but I just don't know where to start. I can click on question help up here in the top right and see a variety of options available to help me. Some of the most popular are the help me solve this and the view an example. Help me solve this will walk me through the steps of the problem, whereas view an example will, you guessed it, show me an example of a similar problem. I can also launch the textbook straight from here if I want to look up anything from that particular resource. I can also click on ask my instructor here and send my instructor an email with this particular question and a message explaining where I'm stuck. Just a suggestion about that, if you choose to email your instructor, which you are always welcome to do, you want to try to explain as well as you can what trouble you are having on the problem. Otherwise, your instructor might not know how best to help you most effectively. Sure, your instructor can send you an example of the problem, but remember, you already have an example right here. So what can be helpful to do is first go through this example under view an example, and if you still don't understand it after reviewing the example, email your instructor and tell him or her at what step in the example you got stuck and what your question is about it as best you can. That will help your instructor help you most productively. Just a note, the view an example here will often show you the long way to do the problem. 
That's because the computer is assuming that you are doing it all by hand. However, you are highly encouraged to use technology to help you solve your homework problems. There will be videos posted in Blackboard each week that demonstrate how to use technology for the material you are covering in that week. Please make sure you watch those videos and use technology to help you on your homework. Definitely don't freak out if you click view an example and see a super long set of instructions with a ton of calculations. Again, the view an example is assuming that you are doing this all by hand, but you do not have to do that. As I'm completing problems, my homework will automatically save for me. When I'm finished with my assignment, or finished for now, I can view my grade on the assignment by clicking on the grade book on the left. Here's the assignment I was just working on, and here's my progress so far. If I want to return to my assignment, I can either click on review right here, or I can click on assignments on the left, and then select it here. If I want more practice on any particular section, I can click on the study plan, and I'll be taken to additional practice exercises that I can compute as often or as much as I want. I can click on tools for success, and I'll see a number of additional resources that I can check out. I can click on multimedia library, here I can access the ebook, the videos, PowerPoint slides, and many, many more features. If I want to see the resources for only one particular chapter or section, I can select that here, and I can also select these boxes to pick whichever resources I want to access, and they will appear down here. There are additional areas you can explore over on the left, but those are probably the main areas that you will be working with. If you haven't done so already, please begin the orientation assignment to get acclimated to the site more fully. I hope this video has been helpful in getting you started with my math lab.